ocupo ni mencionarlo, les pegué una. Ahí les doy un saludo para los que pensaban que veníamos a hacer gambo. Ni madre, venimos a trabajar. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shrek. We're back with another Diesel Diaries. Today we have a road call. We came all the way to Mesquite, Nevada to do a radiator, guys. Check it out. New radiator in there. I got the homie Rodrigo helping us. We out here doing this. So, para los que quieran saber, no estamos no valiendo verga. Estamos acá en Mesquite, Nevada, haciendo, echándonos un rayador. Con el compa Rodrigo acá anda en chinga también él. Vamos a ver qué que se le tenga que quitar y ahorita les enseñamos qué que quitamos. Alright guys, so update. We already have it out. You have to take out those two transmission lines that go to the cooler. It has two big nuts that were the what is that called? The frame of the radiator go into. It has two bolts that go on the bottom. That's inch one inch nuts on it. Condenser, move it out of the way. Remove the upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, radiator hose, of course. You take off your CAC hoses, clamps. Then you take off your engine supports or radiator supports on each side. The reservoir, we have a little bit of a mess, but it's okay, we're gonna clean it. And then that's it. Pull it out, it takes two people. Oh, and you also might wanna remove your hood a little bit, move it out of the way. So we just moved that out of the way so we could slip it out. Slipped it out this way and now we're gonna take off the CAC and then disassemble the whole radiator support or radiator cage and put the new radiator in there and then put everything back in order. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is where we're at now. We got the CAC back on, the radiator assembled. We have to line it up with those two right there, guys. So. All right, guys, this is the update. We put everything back together. The radiator, I believe this is called the support tie, whatever this bar is. Reservoir, we put the CAC turbo or boost hoses, whatever it is. I'm, it's late, we're tired. Push back on. Lower radiator hose is on, shroud back on. This side of the CAC is on. Put all the lines for the condenser, AC condenser back on, upper radiator hose is on. The braces are on this side tightened up. We have the, sorry guys, let me go on the other side. Transmission lines down there. 
line it up, fill it up with coolant, pressurize it, make sure it's not leaking again. Small update, we already finished. Filling it up with coolant. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shrek. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, how we doing? So, I realized I didn't close out the video from the other night. The one that I went to do the radiator with my um, co-worker. We went to Mesquite, Nevada. Drove about five, six hours that way. Five, six hours back. So, we were tired by the time we finished. And that was a quick little video, but just following up on that one today. Today we are working on another freight liner, another little road call. His filters were all messed up. I already started this two days ago. Actually, yeah, two days ago. Dropped off the filters, picked them up. Yesterday I had to go do another truck, finish up another radiator. Had to finish up another radiator yesterday. Two fin finish up two radiators of Cascadia and then a Kenworth. I recorded a couple snippets for my Instagram and my Snapchat. I'll see if I could insert them. But yeah, anyways, we didn't have time to get back. We took a little longer up there. By the time I got back down, it was already like 7 p.m. So I'm gonna finish this up right now. All we have to do is, well, this sensor wouldn't come out. It's the temp sensor. sensor. So we cut it off. We have a new replacement right there. I have to heat it up. I brought my torch, my well, bottom torch, heat it up and remove that one. Go ahead and replace that sensor. Then go ahead and, and put the filters back on. Then after we replace that sensor, that, yeah, that sensor, we're going to go ahead and clean up the, the one box where the filters go, clean up all this old gasket residue, and then we're going to go ahead and install the new filters back on. Well, the same filters, but the clean filters. So let me go ahead and get started on that. And I'll be right back with you guys to update you guys on that sensor, see how hard it is to take off. Be right back. All right, guys, as you guys can see, I already got one of them installed. I put the clamps a whole different way probably than most people do. So, let me just clean some dirt off my face. For starters, I put that one facing up that way and this one that way. I'm pretty sure that's how they usually come. Or everybody puts them that way. And then these are the ones I put set different. I put them down here. The bolts the fasteners down here just because it's easier to take them off once we're ready to re-clean them but so far one of them's done we took off the the sensor as well we're going to replace it right now let me go ahead and finish this filter up and be right back with you guys all right guys so we went ahead and replaced the cover i had to replace the fasteners for the shield because they all broke off. I'm not sure if you guys have. Let me turn off my music. All right, guys. So we went ahead and replaced all the fasteners as well on the shield. Well, not all of them. Some of them. I didn't have enough. So I replaced some of the fasteners on the shield. Because if you've taken off the shield before on the one box, you know that once you take them off, they start to break off because of the heat. They get really like welded on there. So we went ahead and did that. We replaced the sensor. Put the shield on, filters are on. I'm gonna put the steps, put the the little rails for the steps and bring the step over. I already went ahead and, we went ahead and turned it on already and no check engine lights, everything's good. So go ahead and put everything back on and turn it into the customer. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, it was like a two, three part video. We had some radiators, we went all the way up we're in SoCal right now, in San Bernardino area. We went all the way up to Mesquite, Nevada. Did the radio. That's how we started this video. Then came back yesterday. We went ahead and did another, finished up a radiator on the Cascadia. Then we went ahead and went up to Hesperia. 
did another radiator, like a road call, about a 45 minute drive from here. We went ahead and did another radio radiator for them. Uh, it was on a Kenworth, the Cummins ISX 15, I believe. Went ahead and did that. I'll, like I said, I'll probably have some clips of it on the video. And then now we're here finishing up this Freightliner Cascadia as well with the DPF filters. We went ahead and took them off, got them cleaned, and put them back on. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you guys are liking. Well, let me know if you like this kind of videos. I do a lot of road calls, so we could probably start doing road call vlogs. All right, guys. See you guys on the next one. If you're out on the road, be safe. If you're at home, enjoy time with your family. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.